There are so many beautiful and fascinating animals out there in our big wide world. It can be easy to overlook the fact that amongst those lovely ones, there are also some extremely mean and pointy ones which will poke you with a venomous spine or sting you to kingdom come at the drop of a hat. So it's time that you armed yourself with some knowledge of which creatures you should give a wide berth. And no secret here, most of them are in Australia. From a caterpillar with a toxic toupee to a beetle that'll give you pink eye, here are 20 dangerous animals you should run away from. Number 20. Furry Caterpillar Now, a hairy caterpillar doesn't sound like the absolutely most scary thing ever out there, but those things aren't exactly famous for being very fast or running away might be a little bit overkill. But be sure to avoid petting these fluffy creepers because they're much less cute than they may appear. These fuzzy caterpillars' hairy bodies are covered with something called urticating hairs, probably because it really hurts if you touch them. <laughs> Anyways, these hairs are actually more like tiny hypodermic needles than regular fur, and they use them to protect themselves from predators by stinging anything that brushes up against them or is unfortunate enough to have a spiny hair poke itself into their skin. They cause extremely unpleasant itching and skin irritation, and and if that wasn't enough already, these innocuous looking creatures are the most venomous caterpillars on the entire continent. Their injected venom causes pain that lasts for at least 12 hours. And before you think that still sounds like no big deal, some people have ended up in the emergency room after an encounter with a furry caterpillar. If you see this, run fast and ask for help, because this caterpillar can be quite dangerous. There's actually a particular type of furry caterpillar that resides in the Americas and has a reputation for more than just its unpleasant venomous spines. It looks like Donald Trump's hairdo, apparently. Well, I've never known such excitement. Have you? Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19. Blue Ringed Octopus a dinky little octopus with a deadly sting, the blue-ringed octopus is only between 5 and 8 inches long, but has a venomous bite which contains enough poison to kill 26 humans within a few minutes. It's no surprise then that these little fellas are amongst the deadliest creatures in all of our oceans. The lethal neurotoxin that the blue-ringed octopus uses is none other than tetrodotoxin, the same stuff that makes the pufferfish and the golden poison frog so dangerous. So we know this is a serious substance that is possessed by only the most toxic creatures in the animal kingdom. If this octopus bites you, the only chance of survival is an almost immediate medical intervention and a life-saving ventilator. The neurotoxin literally paralyzes the body and stops all motor functions, which includes breathing. But look how pretty they are. As well as having a bite with 1,000 times the killing power of cyanide, the blue ringed octopus has a whole ton of other skills, which includes making itself look as trippy as a lava lamp. This is actually the octopus's warning system, so if it feels threatened, it'll light itself up like a Christmas tree as a sign to any would be predator to back off. And I would pay attention if I were you. Number 18 The Platypus. This has got to be one of the weirdest looking animals on Earth. The platypus is certainly pretty cute with its furry body and webbed feet and duck-like bill. It looks like what you might end up with if you asked a child to create an imaginary creature. In fact, when the English first saw these amazing animals in the 18th century, they thought it was a trick and was actually two creatures sewn together, but this magical beastie, although strange, is absolutely real. 
Platypus only live in eastern Australia and on the island of Tasmania. They're a crazy combination of mammal, bird, and fish with some completely unique features. Now I know they look cute, but platypuses are hiding a surprising secret weapon. These guys, and it's only these guys, as the females lose the feature when they're three months old, have venomous spurs above their hind legs. These cute little chaps use these to defend themselves from predators and also in combat with rival platypuses. The deadly toxin that they produce and inject into an attacker can kill a dog or cat and will cause a really painful puncture wound in a human, so you probably wouldn't want to upset a platypus. Number 17. Slow Loris Although very seldom seen, the slow loris is amongst the rarest of all primates on planet Earth. These animals do have a bit of a reputation. Apart from being very slow moving, duh, they also have an incredibly poisonous bite. A bite from a loris is super deadly, and there's no known antidote. This is an unusual feature for a primate, and scientists are still trying to figure out exactly why the loris has a venomous bite at all. It's weird. They're pretty cute though, and if you like the humanish characteristics of these animals and the fact that the word loris is from Dutch for clown, these animals have extra vertebrae and they move more like a snake than a primate. If the loris strikes you as cute, despite being a clown-faced, human-fingered, snake-creeping creature, then please be careful for Pete's sake. And remember, they also have a deadly, incurable, venom-dripping bite. Number 16. Black Mamba just the name of the black mamba is enough to strike fear into the hearts of many people, and not only the ones with a snake phobia either. The black mamba's deadly bite is the stuff of legend. These large snakes, which can reach 14 feet in length, are mainly found in sub-Saharan Africa. The mythology around the black mamba is probably mostly due to the fact that up until relatively recently, there wasn't an anti-venom cure available. So it used to be that if you got bit by this snake, then unfortunately that was the end of you. Sadly though, that's still the situation in many more isolated parts of Africa, where access to medical care is too far away for the antivenom to be administered quickly enough to save a person who's been bitten. Despite the fact that there are stories of black mambas chasing people and biting them, the snakes will mostly try to avoid contact with humans. It's only the result of the expansion of human environments into the snake's territory that results in more contact at all. And if this snake does feel threatened in any way, it is really aggressive. Combine that with its extraordinary speed and fast working neurotoxic venomous bite, and you've got a powerfully potent death dealer. Number 15. Geography Cone Snail a slow-moving snail with a carnivorous tendency needs a ruthlessly efficient system to stop their prey from wandering off. The cone snail has developed one of the deadliest and most effective poison delivery techniques on the planet. The venom that a cone snail uses can paralyze its prey almost instantly, and that is some scary stuff. The cone snail also has a very particular way to get the poison into its prey. They have a sort of harpoon-like tooth which they fire out of the front, and this pokes into their victim and delivers the deadly toxic cocktail. It's brutally efficient. Oddly though, scientists have discovered that certain isolated parts of the toxic combination may actually have some huge medical possibilities as painkillers. Despite the painkilling potential hidden inside the lethal venom, humans have indeed been killed by the venomous sting of the cone snail, there's actually no known antidote to the venom. So the only hope if you do get stung is that you can be kept alive by machines and medical miracles until the toxins simply wear off. This is a bit of a risky business really, so if it's a cone, just leave it alone. Number 14. Golden Poison Frog 
that. Now, if you've ever seen a cute little golden poison frog, don't pet it. And even if it looks like it might turn into a prince, definitely do not kiss this amphibian. Even their skin contains the deadly toxin that can literally make you totally dead. These mini frogs may only measure an inch long, but they pack a lethal punch, enough poison to kill you 10 times over, in fact. The golden poison frog lives in the rainforest of Colombia, where the indigenous Embera people still use the frog's poison to tip their darts for hunting, as they have done for centuries. This is the very reason that these little creatures go by the name of poison frog, but you already knew that, I'm sure. Although the particular combination of toxins in their bodies is deadly, there are some scientists who believe that by isolating different parts of the compound, they can discover some important medical uses. They've actually developed a synthetic version of some of the frog's unique juice that can be used as a particularly potent painkiller. This is a pocket-sized but powerful frog-based pharmacy. Number 13. Black Widow one of the most famous of all spiders, the Black Widow has a deadly sounding name and a bit of a reputation for some rather unorthodox post-coital habits. Those notorious spiders are venomous, although the idea of them seems to be able to produce a fear in people that may well outweigh their ability to kill you dead, which they can do by the way, but perhaps less often than you may expect. In fact, you're most likely to be a victim of a black widow if you're a male black widow spider. The antisocial female will spend her time alone for the whole year, except for the brief mating season, in which she will mate and then more often than not, terminate the romantic liaison by eating her partner. Anyways, you should run away from the black widow, even if you aren't a spider, because their bite is alleged to be 15 times more powerful than a rattlesnake's. A bite from a black widow will likely make you very poorly indeed, and their venom can induce nausea, muscle pain, and it can even paralyze the diaphragm, making it difficult to breathe. This stuff can kill you. Luckily, fatalities are rare, as the spiders don't generally go around biting people all willy-nilly, but they will bite only in self-defense. Children, the elderly, or people who are sick are most at risk from a black widow bite, but even if you aren't any of those kinds of people, please don't poke at one. That's just rude, and these ladies aren't taking any nonsense. Number 12. Shrew Shrews? Deadly? Don't be silly. The Killer Shrews was just a 1950s B-movie, wasn't it? These cute little long-nosed creatures have a few surprising characteristics, so let's see if they're deadly even just a teeny little bit. They are busy little creatures and do move very fast. They have to eat a lot to survive. They have to eat at least their own body weight's worth of food a day, and if they don't eat within a few hours, they'll actually die. They mainly feast on insects, worms, seeds, and berries, and as they're short-sighted, they use their whiskers and sense of smell to help them find food. So far, that's not so deadly. What is it about these seemingly harmless shrews that put them amongst the most other cute but deadly creatures? Well, this is weird, but many shrews are actually venomous. A bite from a shrew can kill a mouse and leave a nasty, swollen, and painful bite on a human, so you don't want to go around poking them. The scariest thing about this particular shrew feature is that a shrew likes to keep its prey alive so that it can return to it again and again when other food is scarce. The venom will paralyze the prey so it's unable to move, but it won't actually kill it, so the shrew can take its time over its meat. Death by a Thousand Nibbles. Perhaps that old horror movie wasn't so far off from the truth after all. Number 11. Warrior Wasp. Now, as you likely anticipate from a name like Warrior Wasp, these insects aren't really messing about. They're in possession of a rather unpleasant set of mandibles. 
being its jaws, as I'm sure you already know, and these so-called ninja jaws are capable of doing some significant carnage. When you couple that with the warrior wasp's super painful sting, you quickly realize that these are some mean old wasps, and you thought the regular kind were unlikable. Warrior wasps can be found across Central and South America, where these nutters hang around in rainforests banging drums for fun. Well, they do make noises that sound a lot like drums. The warrior wasp uses its massive mandibles to make the sound of war drums by scraping them around the insides of their nests. This is what gives them their name. That and the absolute deadly conviction with which they'll protect their nests at any cost, even if it means going to war. So if you see one, should you run away? Well, probably yes. These wasps measure around two and a half inches long, and that's scary enough in and of itself. But they also have a sting that's been described as unbearable agony. It will immediately create a nasty welt on the skin, and initially has a sensation compared to an electrical current pulsing through the puncture wound. So far, so painful, but it does get worse. The sensations continue, which basically makes it feel like you're being stung over and over again, each time as bad as the first with no relief. Then the area around the sting will swell enormously, followed by pins and needles breaking out uncontrollably, and then the body getting extremely hot. The victim will then become extremely lightheaded, so that's a whole barrel of laughs now, isn't it? Number 10. Bullet Ant now, if you thought that the warrior wasp was a nasty piece of work, then the bullet ant is going to be an upsetting discovery for you. Sorry about that. This is officially the insect with the world's most painful sting, so that sounds super fun then, doesn't it? Their name apparently comes from the fact that a sting from one of these little blighters is akin to being shot by a bullet. And yes, you should probably run away from them. It's just the most sensible option, after all. These ants live in tropical rainforests in a mainly and mercifully peaceful manner. They're not especially aggressive and will only sting when provoked. But if you happen to upset one of these guys, then expect all of his friends to show up and start having a go as well. That's right. If you're unlucky enough to get stung by a single bullet ant, it will release a chemical that signals to all other bullet ants nearby, and they'll all pile on and sting the living daylights out of you. So, if you happen to be in the rainforest, be extra careful where you poke your fingers or toes, or you should be prepared for pain that's described in colorful detail as a blinding electric pain that repeats in waves of agony, lasting up to 24 hours. Oh, such fun. Number 9. Bark Scorpions Nobody's ever exactly thrilled to discover a scorpion has wandered into their home. I mean, these insects are hardly the life and soul of a party, but if the scorpion you encounter just happens to be an Arizona bark scorpion, then avoid the heck out of that thing and get it out of your house fast. Whereas a sting from a scorpion is no one's idea of a fun afternoon, one from the Arizona bark scorpion could have you experiencing some fairly unpleasant symptoms. How about severe pain, followed by numbness and tingling, then a whole range of fun stuff like twitching and muscle immobility and even convulsions. After that amuse-bouche, you're in for a main course of difficulty breathing, followed by vomiting and nausea. And if you're unfortunate enough to be especially heavy dosed with the venom, you may also receive such delightful symptoms as foaming at the mouth, seizures, and paralysis. What a fun one! You'll no doubt be thrilled to learn that despite the cavalcade of sensations that a bark scorpion can elicit, deaths are extremely rare. So that's a relief then. Still though, give your boots a good shake before you poke your foot in, just to be on the safe side. Number 8. Lionfish 
This spectacular fish has definitely got a unique style. The lionfish has been a big favorite of aquarium owners for many years, and its frilly fancy looks have captured many fans. However, this fish is actually a bit of a menace. The lionfish is native to the Indo-Pacific region, but lately this ornate ocean dweller has been popping up all over the place, and that's a problem. Now considered an invasive species, in the coastal waters off the United States Southeast and the Caribbean, these fish are doing more harm than good to the delicate ecosystems in these areas. The lionfish is a predatory species, and since settling into new waters, has been systematically scoffing all kinds of creatures that it has no business interfering with. The lionfish is known to be doing untold damage to the balance of saline on the reefs. They eat too many parrotfish, which means that with fewer parrotfish to eat, there's too much seaweed. They also compete with native fish like live grouper and snapper, leaving less available to sustain those species. Invasive species are always going to be a problem, but right now with all the other pressures on the marine environment from climate change, overfishing and pollution, an invading greedy creature hoovering up all the food might be a little too much to handle. Number 7. Portuguese Man o' War Although it looks a lot like a jellyfish, apparently the Portuguese man o' war is not one. They're actually a siphonophore, which means, and this is freaky, that they are a colony of numerous genetically identical individuals. They cannot survive on their own, so they clump together into a tentacled blob, and in order to eat or move, they have to work together a bit like the Borg. Now, this might be an alien, The Portuguese Man of War are actually clones that spookily move around the ocean in a collection of blobs, using their tentacles to catch prey and their venom to deliver painful and deadly stings. How nice! So, how bad of a problem are you likely to have should you encounter a Man of War? Well, these alien creatures do wash up on beaches from time to time, and they sting like crazy. So you should never poke anything that even remotely looks like one of these animals, even if it is a pretty rainbow-colored one. A severed tentacle can still sting for ages after it's been detached. Now, although a sting from one of these weird blobs is unlikely to kill you, there's always a chance that it might. Anaphylactic shock is a possibility, as is cardiac arrest from one bad sting. Plus, it's a super unpleasant thing, even if you do happen to be lucky. Number 6. Asian Giant Hornet these extremely unpleasant insects also go by another less flattering but extremely accurate moniker. The Asian giant hornet is the murder hornet. And with a name like that, you know these things are trouble. In fact, they're more than just trouble. These Asian giant hornets are a genuine threat to bee populations everywhere. They will actually seek out and target hives of honeybees to slaughter, and they do it by sending out workers which will spot colonies. Then they mark it with a pheromone. This is to help them find their way back when they have gathered a gang of murderous buddies. So then the hornets return in greater numbers, sometimes with up to as many as 50 others, and then they just go to town on that colony. These violent thugs can wipe out an entire bee population of thousands in under a few hours. Number 5. Pufferfish Pufferfish are the second most poisonous vertebrate on the planet. Even in second place, though, the fish contain enough deadly tetrodotoxin to kill 30 humans, so I reckon that second place rating is basically irrelevant. They're named pufferfish for the weird way that they protect themselves from would-be predators in the wild. They can puff themselves up to make it extremely difficult for a predator to keep a hold of them or sink their teeth in. In reality, this defense mechanism probably saves the predator's life as often as the puffer fishes because just one nibble can kill. Although their reputation as a super deadly poisonous fish is extremely well known, there are still plenty of people out there who want to eat the puffer fish. 
Crazy, perhaps, but true. In Japan, this fish is a delicacy, but it absolutely must be prepared by a highly skilled certified person. You make one tiny wrong cut when preparing a puffer fish, and whoever eats it is a goner. This is serious business, and although there is approximately one death a year from ingesting this delicacy, these are almost always caused by people attempting to prepare the fish themselves, rather than paying the high restaurant prices for an expert to do it properly. Number 4. Redback Spider here we are again with lady spiders being dangerous, and the male, well, they're kind of feeble. These spiders are closely related to our old frenemies the Black Widow, so that probably hints at their less than social habits. This venomous spider is, of course, native to Australia, the land of all the most killy creatures. There are also some colonies of redbacks to be found in New Zealand, Japan, and oddly Belgium. This additional distribution outside of Australia is the result of accidental introduction into these countries, causing a surprise population to appear. That must be a tricky one to explain. Oh, sorry darling, I appear to have imported a deadly spider, and it's established a family in the greenhouse. Oh, whoops. Since only the females have a dangerous bite and these spiders pretty much stick to their webs, the risk of being bitten is quite rare, but even so, this is not something you would want to risk. A bite from a red bat can cause such exciting symptoms as pain, sweating, weakness, nausea, and vomiting, and you'll be relieved to hear that there's an antivenom now available. Since its introduction, there have been no reported deaths. Huzzah! Number 3. Alligator Snapping Turtle the crazy-looking alligator snapping turtle is like an insane combination of dinosaur and pine cone. This creature looks like nothing else on Earth, and if you happened upon one by surprise, you may indeed feel compelled to run away immediately. But try not to panic. Sometimes things are not exactly as scary as they may appear. This is the largest freshwater turtle to be found in North America, and it mostly lurks in rivers, canals, and lakes. They may also have a bit of a reputation as a dangerous sort of animal, but they're unlikely to attack a human unless in self-defense. So be nice and try not to disturb them, and hopefully you'll be all right. However, if you do happen to encounter an especially cross alligator snapping turtle, then you could be in for a very unpleasant experience. Their bite force is an extraordinarily powerful 1,000 pounds, which can inflict a bite that will literally snap your bones in two. So watch your step. These turtles like to spend their time submerged and can stay underwater for up to 50 minutes without needing to resurface. That means they can be hard to spot, and you really wouldn't want to accidentally poke your toes into one of those guys' mouth. Number 2. Stonefish now this fish can put a serious downer on an afternoon's paddle in the sea, that's for sure. The next time you take a dip in tropical waters off the Indo-Pacific, be careful where you step. The stonefish, a master of disguise, is one of the deadliest animals on Earth. It produces a particularly nasty venom that's often fatal to humans, unless antivenom can be administered in time. These super dangerous guys like to hide out on the ocean floor, just looking like a rock, but don't be fooled. These fish are definitely up to no good. The stonefish has 13 venomous spines along its back. If anything even brushes up against these, then venom can be released. If you do accidentally step on a stonefish, it will sting you, and that nasty sting is extremely painful, and you're going to need immediate medical attention. The venom from a stonefish can cause swelling, pain, tissue death, and cardiac arrest, so that's a whole barrel of laughs now, isn't it? If you simply must venture into the water where these badass fish hang out, then please be careful, wear shoes, and watch where you step. Oh, and Cross your fingers, I guess. Number 1. Grove Beetle And finally yet another of Australia's crazy dangerous species for your eyeballs. Actually keep these things well away from your eyeballs, please. It doesn't bear thinking about. 
So the rove beetle is not a stinging insect like many of the others we've encountered, nor is it a large and dangerous animal. They only measure up to about a quarter of an inch in length. But what makes these bugs so dangerous is not their teeth or their venom, it's the stuff that lurks inside of their bodies. They contain a really nasty toxin called pederin, which, if it comes into contact with human skin, can cause extremely unpleasant reactions. It can cause conjunctivitis, dermatitis, and severe skin irritations. The trouble is that even if you don't mean to squish these beetles, they sometimes just get splatted on you or near you, and then you're in trouble. If you're riding a motorcycle, for example, a rove beetle can easily splat onto your skin and boom, you've got an uncomfortable and unattractive itch for at least 10 days. Oh, such fun. Australia, you really know how to live dangerously. Well, sorry to pee in your pool with all of this worrying information, but it's probably a good idea to know just what's lurking out there just waiting to kill you, or at least give you an interesting skin complaint. Which of these dangerous animals has you running for the hills? And will you ever feel safe again? Let me know all about it in the comments below. Also be sure to check out the other cool stuff showing up on the screen, and I'll see you next time.